Um, so the fight tonight, Christian Cyborg uh, and uh, Gina Carano. Walk us through the fight, what your feelings were about the fight, uh, how you could evaluate their performances. Well, uh, I thought it would be more for her when we started, and uh, well, that, that happened. Uh, I thought Gina was really, uh, I expect, she, she, she was almost like a little bit shy, because she's got a lot of pressure upon her, and uh, I think she was also maybe a little bit overtrained. But I think she really did do a good job, and uh, I still see her like as the face of women's MMA. With Chris, it's like, yeah, she's powerhouse, she's striking really hard, but um, there's still some flaws in her, in her game, and I think when I'm fighting her, I know where to strike, <laughs> where to strike. Um, do you feel the event is as historical as everyone said it was? Yeah, because uh, I've been fighting in Japan for over 10 years, and uh, also I've done some big fights over there, but the media attention and the crowd, everything, uh, it has never been as big as, uh, as it was now. What's your considerable success in Japan? Is that why you wanted to come to the United States to strike force to uh, have that media attention, to have that exposure? Yeah, well, I was, it was, uh, I was 90 years old when I wanted to fight him, not 20, 20 days, it's a long time ago. And uh, I um, then, um, the market didn't develop, you know, people didn't want to have that many female fights and I didn't got a lot of fights because I'm quite tall and I'm not like 1, 130. So um, I'm really happy that uh, Gina really like uh, she made it explode uh, for all the media attention and everything. And um, I'm really looking forward to fight here and uh, maybe can make a living of it. <laughs> you know, uh, Gina, she was the face of female MMA, but she never became a champion. They say champions are made after a loss. Do you feel that Gina will be back? And, and yeah, and because uh, sometimes I read the internet and people always like trashing on her, you know, like jealous people. But uh, you can see that she's really into it and uh, she's got a lot of opportunities to do different stuff and she still keeps her training and everything. And I really respect her and I think she's a good ambassador for the sport. Absolutely. Um, can you just tell people, uh, you know, for those who don't know you, uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, just kind of, uh, you know, uh, tell us your background. Uh, you're from uh, Holland, I understand. Yeah, uh, living in Amsterdam. Living in Amsterdam. Uh, uh -huh. I started uh, training at the age of 14. Uh, I wanted to do some self-defense because I had to go to school on a bike all alone and a very <laughs> scary man. And, uh, then I ended up training at the Medan Young from the Security. And uh, he started, uh, he became the vice president of Shooto Europe and he started organizing uh, all these uh, MMA events. And in the first MMA event, uh, I was fighting as an amateur fighter, I was 18 years old. And uh, after two amateur fights, I started fighting as a sponsor, just like for today, as a stand in for who dropped out of uh, the tournament in, in Japan. And it was uh, a really uh, one like. Um, Quite heavy. <laughs> they wanted to have me back uh, within a week uh, again to Japan, and then I won this big tournament, and it was again a standing. And uh, then uh, I quit school, and I wanted to focus on fighting and everything, but I didn't get fights anymore. So I went back to school, and I always kept on training, and you now I'm a marketer for internet agencies. I think it's important for people to know as well. Um, if you could just turn this way a little bit, we could see your cauliflower ear. Oh! <laughs> Which uh, that's people not. People think I'm born with it. <laughs> <laughs> that's not everything you see on uh, on female fighters, you know. Uh, so that's very uh, great to see that you know you are training hard. <laughs> you know you are getting the championship on your ears. Um, so that, that's great to see. Also, um, you know you've had a fight in the past with Aaron Toho, who's also in Strike Force. Uh, is that a fight that interests you, or do you want to go straight for the title? Yeah, I really want to set the, the record straight with Aaron. Um, I really was sick uh, fighting. Uh, it was a tournament. I already fought in the fight, and uh, I was kind of sick. And she was like 22 pounds heavier, but nevertheless, Aaron is a great fighter. I really respect her, but um, I really want to be show. I really want to show to people that I really can knock her out, take her out. Uh, how many fights do you have in a strike force contract? Uh, I haven't got a clue. I haven't signed yet, but I, I know I will be fighting. Uh, hopefully, cyber. Oh, okay. So, so do you expect to sign? Is. is that what you're here in town for? For negotiations? Oh, uh, okay. Fantastic. Yeah, I, I was in town to if one of the girls didn't make weight, I would be standing. Oh, okay. So you were the stand-in. Yeah, okay. I could also make weight and everything. So. Oh, fantastic. Yeah. Fantastic. Um, and also, you know, Strikeforce mentioned doing tournaments uh, for female MMA. You know, like one-night tournaments. Is that something that you'd be interested in, in participating in? I've done a lot of tournaments. Um, like the tournament that I won, but I, after that I also did for, I think it was called K-Grace, I did a tournament and uh, also for another... Uh, 
Japanese names. These are jewels, it was like smack girl or something like that. So I've got experience in tournaments. Uh, you're not the worst looking woman I've ever seen. <laughs> uh, do, you, do you expect that, you know, if you have good showings in the cage, that you could become the face of uh, mixed martial arts the way everyone said Gina would be? I think Gina really make a big. I hope I, I will become it, but I, d I don't think so because Gina is really uh, one of a kind and uh, she's got great looks and everything. Uh, I think I know I can beat her obviously, but uh, she really has done a good job in uh, being an ambassador for the sport. Fantastic, we appreciate you taking the time, Marlos. Thank you. Thank you too. <laughs> I'm still filming. He's, uh, let's, let's just get a look at what Marla's wearing because she's got her own little fashion stuff going on here. Let's get a look at that. <laughs>